Media Production Program. So I'm much more comfortable being up here. and how you expand that and make that better. And GIS is the Google Maps, is how do you take maps and how do you apply geography in uh, very productive ways. Um, and while I was there, I also was leading backpacking and kayaking trips to the outdoor program, which is a great experience. I highly recommend taking a look at College Park. That one of the best things about it for me was just how affordable it was. Um, and with so many friends who are just like, have so much debt, looking back, I'm very happy with that decision. <laughs> Especially, um, so after my junior year, I ended up going into California uh, in Silicon Valley, San Jose, which is at the bottom of Silicon Valley. Um, and I ended up interning there for the summer, and actually liked it so much, I ended up dropping out and working there full time. <laughs> so uh, I did that for about a year, and then I sort of, I, I realized something about myself, which is that I think I like working for myself more, so I decided to start a company with a friend from the University of Maryland. Um, so this is my friend Mackenzie. Uh, she's a really amazing person. I uh, hope you all meet her one day. Um, but we decided to start a company in open source. So who here has an Android phone? Just raise your hands.
the workforce is changing so significantly and there's lots of jobs that existed before that are going away, people need to understand where they fit in the world. So because of that, we need artists. Um, it's really unlikely that technology will answer a lot of these questions about what happens when these jobs are replaced. So it's important for us artists to think about where this is going and why this matters and what are we going to do about it? Because otherwise, technologists will eat the world, right? They, will, they, they, they don't think about these problems, and like, I have friends who don't care about arts at all, and that's terrifying. And I think that's a very common problem in a lot of technology. Um, so what's been helpful? Just summing up how I got here. <laughs> Follow what you're interested in. If you find yourself being bored by what you're doing, then it's probably a good sign you shouldn't do it. I mean, it sounds obvious, but it took a while for me to be like, okay, this is the right thing to do. Um, keep looking at where these broad trends are going, because if, if you make find a place where you're interested and you see a trend going that way, you're likely to be very successful in that. And follow the expertise you develop here. So that's professionalism and commitment, attention to detail and audience and creativity. All of those things will propel you to be very successful in whatever you do. And just trust yourself. It sounds kind of lame, but it's true. Like, a lot of these times I really doubted what I was doing and just remembering, okay, I thought about this. Like, be critical, but once you've gone through that process of being critical, really do trust the decision you make. <laughs>